Hey, soldiers, I'm going to have to be really careful with this one because it's chock full of a lot of things that uh, YouTube doesn't want you talking about. Now, we all know that there was an individual whose initials are were, rather, J.E. J.E. passed away uh, seemingly by his own hand uh, in a prison, okay, and began a uh, theme of J.E. didn't do this to himself, okay? Now I believe you know who I'm talking about. J.E. Um, is still the subject of whether or not many powerful people were involved with him and his illicit acts and whether or not he had dirt on a lot of these very important people, okay, and was using that to benefit himself. All right, so we have Jamie Dimon, CEO of... J.P. Morgan. Now, uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, Jamie Dimon, rather, is being accused by uh, a former colleague over at J.P. Morgan of having uh, a relationship with J.E. that was more extensive than what Jamie Dimon lets on. Okay. Now, I want to stress something. These are accusations. Accusations by someone who has. Uh, been found to not be an honest broker. So we got to take this stuff as a grain, with a grain of salt. However, we're covering it because J.P. Morgan is the largest bank in America and I believe the largest bank in the world, independent bank in the world. The other thing is, Jamie Dimon has not been shy about telling you that his bank will not do business with you if you are not the type of person that he thinks you should be and are out there saying things uh, contrary to what uh, he may believe or things that may, you know, run contrary to his delicate sensibilities. He did that to Kanye West. All right. So from the standpoint of this being a bellwether institution here in America, as far as our economy is concerned, we got to dig into this. Also, remember, we did the video on how Jamie Dimon, this particular individual, <clears throat> went out there and recently suggested that your property, okay, should be able to be seized by the United States government with the help of corporations like his in order to alleviate climate change. <clears throat> now, can you imagine if you got a Chase mortgage, JP Morgan Chase? Can you imagine if you got a Chase mortgage? What's in that fine print that might allow JP Morgan and Jamie Dimon? to better take your property, okay? So this is the magnitude of what we're dealing with. So we need to know what Jamie Dimon knew and when he knew it. Let's proceed from this standpoint. All institutions here in America are corrupt, especially if they're institutions that have been around for over a century like J.P. Morgan has, all right? Listen, guys, I need you to subscribe. Go ahead and list, become a soldier of finance. Before we get into this, hit that uh, subscribe button. Let me know you did so in the comments. I will salute you. Hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that. You guys do a wonderful job of that. And that helps the channel tremendously. So I really appreciate that. Share it with a friend. Share it with a loved one. And I want to give a shout out to Code Percent for Bath Salt, Primox 171, and TEK. Those are uh, our members. We just started up the membership. Hit join to find out what that's all about. You're going to get value like you wouldn't believe, and it's going to help you achieve financial independence, okay? We, we, we're drilling down in there and getting to really understand these assets, how they work, and how we should go about looking at them in terms of acquisition. All right, guys, let's jump right into this. J.E., you know who J.E. is, okay? J.E., can't say his name. This video will be, you know, trashed. I might get a knock at the door on YouTube. J.E. Powell, Jess Staley, throws Jamie Dimon under the bus, setting stage for a massive legal battle. Former J.P. Morgan Chase executive Jess Staley has thrown CEO Jamie Dimon under the bus over the bank's relationship with J.E., claiming in legal documents that he and Dimon communicated about J.E., now, J.E. was a convicted offender of uh, the most abhorrent nature, okay? Diamond maintains he had no such conversations 
according to the Wall Street Journal. While Staley claims he knew about J.E.'s proclivities to traffic individuals uh, for the purposes of his illicit you know, operation. And he also says, uh, Staley claims, that Diamond regrets his relationship or friendship with J.E., okay? According to the following, Staley says that he and Diamond communicated with J.E., um, who was arrested in 2006 and 2008 when J.E. pleaded guilty to soliciting and procuring a minor for um, bad deeds. I know, guys, you got to work with me here, okay? And served 13 months, J.E. served 13 months in a work release program. Staley also claims that Diamond communicated with him several times through 2012 about whether to maintain J.E. as a client. So he's alleging that uh, J that uh, Jamie Diamond had some consternation about whether or not they should can this guy as a client. But when it comes to taking your house or let's say booting Kanye West because you know you don't like what he said, there was no debate there. That was just, this is what we need to do. Let's do it. There is no evidence that any such communication ever occurred. This is a quote, okay? Nothing in the voluminous number of documents reviewed and nothing in the nearly dozen depositions taken, including that of our own CEO, unquote. That's according to a spokesperson for J.P. Morgan. You wouldn't expect this person to get up there and say anything contrary to that, right? The spokesperson added that Diamond doesn't believe, now get this, Diamond doesn't believe such conversations with Staley ever happened. Now, if you come to me and say, hey, do you ever have a conversation with J.E. about this, that, or the other? I'm going to say, no, I did not. Never happened. When they get into, I don't believe that's wiggle room, okay? That basically leaves the door open. So if you find some proof that this happened, all you then got to do is say, I don't recall that. You know, I, I told you I didn't believe it. And look, from a legal standpoint, if you are under oath and you state definitively that this never happened and then it is discovered that it did, you could be in some serious legal jeopardy. One thing Je uh, Jamie Dimon is not, and that is stupid. OK, there's a very intelligent individual. Give the devil his due. Um, quote, the one person who claims this to be true is currently accused of of horrific acts and dishonesty, unquote. This is according to that spokesperson, and they're right about that. The statements arose as part of a pair of lawsuits against J.P. Morgan in a federal court in Manhattan. The government of the U.S. Virgin Islands and an unnamed woman who said she was abused by J.E. sued J.P. Morgan last year, claiming that the bank facilitated J.E.'s alleged trafficking business. The bank has sought to pin the bulk of the relationship on Staley and sued him, claiming he misled executives about J.E. The bank, in its lawsuit, identified Staley as the powerful financial executive accused of uh, assault of a nature that we won't mention here, by this woman who is suing J.P. Morgan, okay? Uh, Staley's lawyers have said the allegations against him are baseless. What a tangled web they have woven. Rather than mislead anyone about what was or was not said, why don't they just agree to release the whole transcript? This is according to a statement. This is a statement made by one of J.E.'s accusers, attorneys, okay? Brad Edwards referring to Jamie Dimon's deposition. Yeah, why not make if 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 your peers are driven snow, why not make it available, right? Epstein uh oh JE died in jail following his 2019 arrest on federal charges of trafficking in a very bad nature. This individual J.E., who became a J.P. Morgan client around 1998, brought the bank hundreds of millions of dollars, formed a close bond with Staley, who eventually oversaw J.P. Morgan's investment bank. 
So, uh, you know, when that money's fl uh, flowing in, looks like, you know, some people might not care where it's coming from. You ever see Cocaine Cowboys? It's a uh, documentary. One of the guys in that movie said, Miami wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for drug money. Money, okay? Follow the money. In August of 2008, a few weeks after J.E. pled guilty, he had been initially charged way back then with these crimes, a J.P. Morgan employee sent an email that suggested Diamond himself would review the J.E. relationship, according to the U.S. Virgin Islands lawsuit. The email states, quote, I would count J.E.'s assets as probable outflow for 08, 120 million or so, as I can't imagine it will stay pending Diamond review. The bank has said that there is no record of such a review and that Diamond doesn't recall one. Of course not. Okay. Do you really think that this institution, J.P. Morgan, has stayed around all this time without being able to provide the CEO with plausible deniability? All right. So again, He's saying, I can't recall, which is wiggle room, saying, well, if you do find something, my this is a federal matter, I'll just fall back on I told you I didn't recall. I don't recall. How are you going to question what I recall, right? It's um, legally more palatable than no, than a, than a uh, absolute answer. According to the Daily Mail, J.P. Morgan executive Mary Erdos, who has been with the bank since 1996, continued to meet with J.E. for years after his conviction and allowed him to stay on as a client, despite the bank becoming aware of suspicious withdrawals as early as 2006. Now, <clears throat> I bet you go to a Chase, a Chase branch. Try to withdraw $4,000. It ain't going to be easy. Okay, I told you a few weeks ago about how I went to the bank to uh, withdraw $2,000 and how it was... Uh, arduous okay it wasn't it wasn't as easy as just getting my money and don't think you're getting it out of the atm or they even want you at this particular bank i went to they want you to come through to the inside they won't deal with you in the drive through for large sums the bank finally severed ties with je in 2013 citing him routinely withdrawing large amounts of cash a 2006 report showed je had withdrawn amounts as large as $80,000 several times, amounting to more than $750,000 in one year. So when you go in and um, you get into the amounts up near $10,000, then you, the federal government starts to take a look at you, okay? So you know that they knew. The federal government knew. Because if he was doing this on a routine basis, then he knew he was triggering that $10,000, you know, uh, point at which the FBI will take a look at you. Uh, see, what it, is, what it is you're doing. Why do you need so much cash, okay? Uh, and many people say that the government was turning a blind eye because he was so well connected, okay? Don't you believe for one second that there's some team team righteousness within somewhere within the United States government that says, oh, this is not right. I am going to report this to my superiors and we're going to follow the letter of the law. Yeah, that happens with you and me at our socioeconomic level. But J.E. and Jamie Dimon and people up at, you know, in the rarefied air, please, okay? Erdo said during a deposition this week that she didn't think it was her responsibility to flag J.E.'s account for review. Staley, which was her supervisor, allegedly asked J.E. about the allegations in person. The Washington Post reports glazing over the fact that Staley and J.E. had a Disney princess-themed email exchange, including, uh, uh, alluding, rather, to acts of a sexual nature. What in the world? All right, so... They knew what was going on. Come on, man. They knew something was going on, right? And um, the circles that these people hang around in, there would have been talk, okay? And 
if you get on social media and you say the wrong thing, trust me, you got a Chase, JP Morgan Chase account, they're going to cut you off. The big bank, and it doesn't even have to be JP Morgan, be any bank, but we're talking about JP Morgan, right? I'll cut you off. So we'll see where this goes. Okay, we just dropped, uh, we just dropped Elizabeth Holmes because she uh, is in prison now. And looks like we're picking up Jamie Dimon, of all people, all right, who could be involved beyond uh, what he is alluding to. And it might just be that in the end, we find out that J.P. Morgan, under the auspices of J Jamie Dimon, said, you know, I don't care what he's out there doing. Uh, this is a bank. We want the money. OK, so we'll see. We shall see. Listen, uh, let's go and take a look at that video where I was telling you that J.P. Morgan actually believes that it's okay for them to take your property in order to stave off climate change. Now, we're not going to take any of Jamie Dimon's properties, right? But those few acres you got out tucked away in, you know, some little paradise that you and your family will move to for your old age, buy a couple of double wides and live happily ever after, well, you better not let Jamie Dimon know you have that because if he feels that some solar panels, two or three solar panels need to be set up on that land, guess what? He's going to move on you. Watch the video. Find out more. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.